Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers. Good Wednesday evening and welcome back. Now it's time for the weekly segment, Veteran Salute, our chance to honor those from our local community who have served. 27 News reporter Matthew Johnstone introduces us to Vietnam veteran Tom Suter. From a young age, Tom Suter was taught the importance of looking out for others, a skill he would use overseas often, making a difference in Vietnam. The younger brother in a big family, Tom wasn't the only military bound Suter with four out of the five sons in his family serving their country. Two were in the Navy and one was in the Air Force, so I was the first ground pounder, infantry, Marine Corps. So it was the first few weeks I was there, it was pretty rough. I mean, we had a lot of action. I was with the 26th Marines when I first got there. It was a big battalion type operation, moved in big groups of guys. Growing up on a farm in Olathe, the Sudart upbringing instilled the values of service and patriotism. Raised in the Midwest and we believed whatever, if you served in the military it was a good step. I mean I think it was for education wise, if you really didn't have a direction in high school, I think it was a good step. Overseas, Tom's squad of Marines partnered with local soldiers guarding villages and educating the local populace on defensive maneuvers. Some of the villages we were in got overrun after we left, but most of them were, we trained the popular force or the Arvin soldiers to protect that village. So, you know, it was American weapons, American support. We taught them how to call in artillery, airstrikes, medevacs, all the stuff that they needed to survive in an infantry company. So. It was, that was the most fulfilling thing in the, when I was there. Moving from village to village, not every stop was a long-term success. It was kind of disheartening to see a village that you lived in for two or three weeks, rebuilt the bridges, you know, protected them, taught them how to use weapons, and then a week later it got overrun by Viet Cong. While the experience was intense, his time in Vietnam taught Tom a lot about leadership and trust. Good people around you, you know. The guy in your foxhole was your back, you know, you had to depend on him and the Marine Corps was really good about making sure you knew that. That was, that was your cover, that was your ticket home was the guy with you, so no one left behind. It was good. After finishing up his time abroad, Tom planted roots in Emporia and has lived there for over 45 years. Today he stays active in retirement, keeping up with the grandkids and fixing up some houses in the area. Working for you, Matthew Johnstone, 27 News. Another fantastic story, and we keep highlighting veterans in our community every week, just like Tom. So if you'd like to nominate someone for our Veteran Salute segment, be sure to go to KSNT.com and click on this story. Now, every time we do this, the honored veteran receives a gift. Take a look. The Devon James Injury Lawyer is here with our Veteran of the Week, and that's Sergeant Tom Suter of the United States Marine Corps, who proudly served our country during Vietnam. On behalf of all of Kansas, Tom, thank you so much for your service. Thank you, and Semper Fi. Veteran Salute, sponsored by Devon James Injury Lawyers.